All right, guys, Mike here with another Watchman Thinking Out Loud. I'm back. Lots going on. Guys, I've made some additional decodes on IPICO2. I want to share those with you. Um, and just as an aside, I'm still seeing in the comments, people are questioning why we would even listen to IPICO2. Why wouldn't we just look at scripture? And I just want to make it very clear, as I have in other videos, that the reason that we look at that is because it is prophetic. Um, there is some sort of arrangement between God and Satan where Satan has to reveal <clears throat> all of his plans to mankind before he executes them. That way, man is without excuse. We see an example of this in Job. Um, so the Satan does use his minions, those who worship him and follow him, to disclose his plans to the world. That's why IPEC Go 2 is so reliable. It came out in 2012 and it has accurately predicted COVID. It's accurately predicted the October 7th um, attacks um, starting in 2023 on Israel and the destruction of the mosques in Gaza. It has accurately predicted um, Russia's war with Ukraine. We see the tank scene in there and it gives us all the timing clues that we need to know when those events take place. So it has been extremely accurate and it is accurate, very accurate this week. So much of IPEC Go 2 is becoming fulfilled uh, prophetically right now. So not only is, the, is there prophecy in the Bible, but um, and the Holy Spirit helping reveal those things in scripture to us so that we can see what's happening, right? With Amos being active, Psalm 83 being active, Ezekiel 38 and 39 about to be active. Um, Isaiah 17, 1 is about to be active. Um, you know, IPICO 2 is also similar. It's working in a similar fashion. And it, IPICO 2 kind of cuts off prophetically uh, at the point in time where the Antichrist is sort of revealed. Okay, so um, that's where the Bible is going to pick up and run the rest of the show in terms of what's going to happen. So I want to read uh, Psalm 90, 10 through 14 here. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures, yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger, your wrath is as great as the fear that is due your name. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Well, that morning is the morning of the seventh day, the beginning of the millennial reign of Christ. That's the day that we're all looking forward to when the tribulation is completely over, everything's over, and it's just going to be a wonderful, glorious, celebratory day. Um, all right, guys. So one of the things that I noticed is that um, there's these like world holidays or these recognized like national or international days. There's national days in the US and most countries have these national days of this or that, but then there's these world days. And what I've discovered is that IPEC Go 2 is actually using these world days to communicate dates and plans. So we're gonna take a close look at this. Um, so September 29th, which has just passed us, this is World Heart Day, okay? So we see the heart there, the kind of the logo there for World Heart Day every year, World Heart Day, all right? Now, this is when things really started kicking off in Israel. Um, you know, this in terms of like what's been going on the last few days. So this, is, this was the date where this was a big turning point, right, in the war. And we see that right there. We see the heart. I always wondered what this was. Well, now we know these little elements in IPEC02 are communicating dates. So there are visual elements in IPEC02 that are communicating actual dates. And these dates are now happening. So this little poster here in the classroom is communicating September 29th. That already happened. Now, October 4th is... A world Smile Day, okay? Um, and so we can see that right there, World Smile Day. The first Friday of October uh, is World Smile Day, October 4th, okay? So um, I would don't know if I would call this a smile, but 
on the stick man there. Um, but we do see the smile right there. Now, the interesting thing about this time bomb with the smile on it is it's got a dollar sign on it. It's got the X on the I, right? So the I is kind of X'd out. And we see the dollar bills around the time bomb, the $100 bills. So I believe that this could be, um, you know, Brett over at, um, shoot, I forget his channel's right, uh, name right now, um, End Times Bible Prophecy or something like that. Uh, he always talks about the bank holiday that's coming. He's a finance guy. So he's always talking about the bank holiday that's coming um, where, you know, the banks are going to shut down and declare a holiday. It's going to happen on a Friday, just like the Great Depression. They took a bank holiday on a Friday and then the runs on the bank started and everything collapsed. So that time bomb may be referring to, with the smile on it, Smile Day, um, which is tomorrow, October 4th of Friday. And is that when the banking system blows up and all the money goes bye-bye? Well, we're going to see. Um, I, I also want to preface this by saying that these dates, as these things unfold, they still could be warnings for things that happen in the future, potentially a year out, right? I, I'm kind of thinking not, right? Uh, just the way that we're seeing events unfold in the Middle East. Um, but the question I'm asking here is, is tomorrow going to be a bank holiday? And is Bank of America going to be one of the first big dominoes to fall, perhaps tomorrow? Um, Bank of, Warren Buffett has sold billions of dollars in Bank of America stock. He's selling all his stock. So the Sharks are getting in on the action right now as far as stocks are concerned and selling shares and companies they know are going to fail and, and blow up and all that. So we'll see what happens. Okay, October 5th is World Teachers Day. Okay, World Teachers Day, and it's been this day since uh, 1994, okay? World Teachers Day, we see the alphabet there, the globe, the heart, and what do we see in IPEC Go 2? Well, we see the alphabet, we see the hearts, um, because of the, uh, uh, the, the, the holiday I just mentioned, um, and then we see the teacher, okay? So we see the teacher right there in the classroom, World Teachers Day, Saturday, this coming Saturday, I believe that this teacher in the classroom is calling out a specific date. Okay, um, also October 6th here, um, first Sunday of every October um, is um, it's World Communion Day. Um, and this is sort of like, you'll notice what it, where it says here, promotes Christian unity and ecumenical cooperation. So that's where like all the faiths come together and just like, because they're all Christian based flavors of Christianity, it's like, oh, it's okay. You're Presbyterian, all good. Uh, Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, all good. We're all good. Catholic and, you know, Russian Orthodox, yep, no problem, right? Uh, Episcopalian, no problem, you know, all that stuff, right? So, um, you know that that's that ecumenicalism is is a problem. There's a religious a religiosity associated with that, and a club associated with that. The, the the church, the real church of Jesus Christ, does not have a club name. It does not have a label. Uh, it doesn't exist in a building. It's a collection of believers with the Holy Spirit sealed with the Holy Spirit all over the entire world, and we have freedom in Christ. Okay, we're not pinned down by any sort of like building or a club or a specific flavor of Christianity, okay? It's just what the Bible says in, in spirit and truth, right? That's how we live. So um, there's a couple of days going on here, October 6th. There's Plus Size Appreciation Day, World Cerebral Palsy Day, and then the World Communion Day. So we see the, the teacher is also plus size, okay? So we see that right there. I believe that's part of the date being communicated, okay? If you're gonna draw a teacher, you're gonna spend time drawing something in CGI, and computer graphics to make this animated film, you're going to plan every detail. Like, is it gonna be a skinny teacher? Is it gonna be a fat teacher, okay? So they, they chose this on purpose to communicate something. I believe that is um, World um, Plus Size Appreciation Day, all right? Cerebral palsy has to do with brain development problems. And um, so could the lightning bolt through the brain represent Cerebral Palsy Day? Um, October 7th is World Architecture Day. Now, this is fascinating when I look this up because I got this, I took this screenshot here for World Archi uh, Architecture Day and they're showing the pyramid here. This is the Louvre in France, the museum, okay? 
and um, which has another pyramid, an inverted pyramid facing down. So, so um, as above, so as below, so below. Um, and notice here how it says, uh, can you believe that the great pyramids built over 4,000 years ago um, is the only great world wonder still standing? Okay, so this is referring to a global system of architecture, the way the world works, this ancient Egyptian and Babylonian kind of system, world power system that's been in power since the ancient days. This architecture, this structure is about to change and become a new world order under the Mark of the Beast system. So we see that communicated in IPEC GOAT 2 right here. We see the uh, meteors or they could be missiles or whatever uh, coming down out of you know the sky here out of the sun and smacking right into the all-seeing eye at the top of the pyramid. This is the same kind of pyramid that we see on the dollar bill. So we see that here, and once this pyramid goes down, the main large one there, the other two crumble as well, okay? So we see that there, this world architecture of the world order is going to change. It's gonna be destroyed in favor of building a completely new one, okay? October 8th, World Child Development Day. Okay, World Child Development Day, the second Tuesday in October, all right? It's also World Octopus Day, okay? So we see um, the child in IPEC GOAT 2, and you know these children are getting developed by what is on the TV. So we see Satan operating through the boob tube there. Um, we see the snake body connected to the TV and this guy kind of yelling at the kid and stuff. And he, ah, he's like, ah, okay. And, um, and so what we see is that the satanic system is developing children into what it needs them to be. So after the snake here with the TV starts wandering away, slithering away, we see the child then stand up and kind of nod his head and look resolute in what he's about to do. He looks very empty, empty in the eyes, but resolute, and then starts walking away. So there's a developing of child uh, children going on. We see that right there, okay? And how are whatever events on October 8th, whether it's this year or next year, how is that going to shape child development and children that are you know still on earth? Let's say if the rapture happens before then. Okay, October 9th is National C60 Day. Um, free radical sponge uh, with unbelievable antioxidant uh, properties and countless benefits. So, um, you know, it right here, discovered by scientists studying interstellar space, C60 is completely natural and is actually found in the carbon rich atmosphere of giant red stars. So this is kind of speaking to like Jacob's um, star and the supernova that's in Corona Borealis that's about to go off. Um, so is that, is this speaking to a date? October 9th, I don't know, I don't know, but it is interesting, we'll have to see. Okay, October 10th is World Mental Health Day. We see um, in IPEC 2 the brain getting split by the lightning bolt, so the mental health is getting messed up. We know it's this year because it's the year of the dragon, so that's why the dragon is right there um, kind of pointing to this, so we're right there. So World Mental Health Day. Um, and we also have October 11th, which is World Egg Day. And in IPICO 2, we see the egg is featured very prominently. So this egg has to also do with development, child development. So it's interesting that these things are all kind of tied together. So here we see the all-seeing eye of the snake looking at the human um, embryo kind of inside the egg. He's got his, his hands on it. Um, and then we see the egg head right there. And we can see the, the back part of the eggshell broken off right there with the snake um, infiltrating the mind. And then we see, what do we see on the shirt? We see egg yolk. I can't believe we never noticed this before. That yellow drippy stuff on the kid's shirt is egg yolk, okay? So we're talking about World Egg Day here. I believe this is again, another timing clue, October 11th. So what are we gonna be on, looking for on October 11th? Okay, we also see um, on October 11th, still World Egg Day here, we see an IPEC 2 
this egg hanging right there, which is the uluva um, in the back of your throat that helps produce sound when you speak. And so we see the Antichrist coming through this throat here. Um, and so it's like almost like announcing that the Antichrist is going to be speaking soon or speaking potentially on the state. October 12th is Universal Music Day. So the next thing we see in Ipego 2, one of the next things is we see the skeleton, which represents death and kind of a magician there with the cape and stuff on, uh, magic and the devil and all of that. And he's an orchestra conductor. He's conducting all of these events. So this is this is the evil that is the conducting all the stuff going on in the world right now. He's got the big fat smile on his face. We see the conductor's um, wands in his hands and he's just going about his thing. We see the nuclear winter happening in the background there. Okay, so Universal Music Day. October 13th is International Disaster Day. Okay, uh, D Disaster Day or the International Day for Disaster Reduction uh, Disaster reduction is observed every October 13th. The holiday is significant because a specialized international forum for discussion and exhibition of global and local initiatives for disaster management and reduction is organized. The mission of the UN General Assembly's decade-long declaration for natural disaster reduction during the 1990s was to decrease the loss of life, property and disruption of socioeconomic structures in disaster hit areas as part of the decade long project, International Day of Disaster Reduction or simply Disaster Day emerged. Guys, are you serious? What's gonna happen on October 13th? Okay, let's look at October 14th. We got a bunch of stuff going on, on October 14th. We have Columbus Day, Defender of Ukraine Day, International Day of Respect for Cultural Diversity, World Standards Day, the Yemen Liberation Day, and Indigenous Peoples Day. The one that stands out to me the most in this list is the Defender of Ukraine Day. What's going to happen with the Ukraine over the next week? October 15th is Information Overload Day. No joke. And Global Hand Washing Day as well. It's also I Love Lucy Day which is interesting, okay? All right, October 16th, now we're in Sukkot, okay? The Feast of Booths, the Feast of Tabernacles, all right? So it's a seven-day feast. So now we arrive at October 17th, the full moon. And the full moon, guys, guess where it is? Thanks, Brother Jarrett, for pointing this out to me when we spoke uh, over text the other day. It's in Pisces, okay? There is the moon in the rapture fish in Pisces, but wait, there's more. Notice on October 18th, we are still kind of having a full moon. It's a 98% full moon. And that full moon has moved from the tail of the fish, which makes the fish go forward. The tail makes the fish swim and move and go. So the moon goes from the tail of Pisces to right smack dab in the middle of Aries, the lamb. Jesus Christ is the lamb, remember? Then on October 19th, we have a 94% full moon and it moves into Pleiades. You can see it right there in Taurus and look what's in the golden gate of the ecliptic, which is the, the horns of Taurus are the golden gate of the ecliptic. Jupiter enters these horns and it goes in its retrograde motion. And, um, and that's just fascinating that we have Jupiter between the horns and then the moon arrives in Pleiades. If Jesus Christ is figuratively represented by the moon as the faithful witness and the seven stars of the Pleiades represent the seven churches, which we see in the book of Revelation, that's astonishing that they're all together. And Pleiades, um, it's in the oxen, right? Taurus, the bull or the oxen represents Father God. And the Pleiades represents the heart of God, Okay. That's what it read, the seven spirits of God right there in the heart of the bull and the oxen in the Taurus, okay? So we have the heart of God, the seven spirits of God, the seven churches, and we have the moon, the faithful witness, Jesus Christ, all lined up there, okay? That's astonishing to me. That's October 19th, all right? Now, right here, we get a close-up of this on October 19th with the moon in Pleiades. Notice the dotted line circle 
showing the Pleiades and the moon is inside of that circle with the seven stars of the Pleiades. This is one of the brightest celestial bodies in outer space, the Pleiades, because of how bright those seven stars are that make it up and how tight that little cluster is. So it looks like a single star with the, you know, with the naked eye, all right? So that is astonishing. So guys, um, just a couple scriptures here on the Pleiades, which I thought were interesting from the, from the Bible. Job 9.9, 9, he is the maker of the bear in Orion. Remember, Orion is getting the little, the little moon on October 9th. That's like, it, could that signal the white horse rider um, with the bow? Okay, the bow. Um, and of course, the bear is mentioned here, which we have Russia doing its thing right now. Um, and so, you know, he is the maker of the bear and Orion. So it's not just those constellations, but it's like everything going on on planet Earth too. He's the maker of all of this. He's sovereign over all of it right? The Pleiades and the constellations of the south. Job 30, uh, 38, 31. Can you bind the chains of the Pleiades? Can you loosen Orion's belt? Amos 5, 8. He who made the Pleiades and Orion, who turns midnight into dawn and darkness into night, who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out over the face of the land. The Lord is his name. And of course, I love this verse right here. These verses in Isaiah 26. Come, my people, enter thy chambers, enter, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Isn't it interesting, all the disclosure happening right now, like with P. Diddy going down and he said he's going to take Jay-Z and all the other Hollywood guys with him. And then we have the, uh, sh the, the show episode or a season two of House of Villains that has its third episode, I think on October 12th, being the Hollywood Walk of Shame. That's the name of the episode. Is that date going to involve uh, some disclosure on people that were involved with P. Diddy and all of this really disgusting behavior. Well, we'll find out. It's going to be an interesting uh, month, I think. Lots of October surprises in store. Guys, we're so close. Hang in there. Maranatha, even so, come Lord Jesus. I'm so excited to see you guys all soon um, where we're going to be waving palms and singing songs. Mike here with another Watchman. Another Watchman, TOL at gmail.com, out. We'll see you on the next one or in the clouds. Maranatha.